In this problem, we have to find the limit of 2 over x plus delta x minus 2 over x all over delta x. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite the limit sign. And then in the numerator, we just want to subtract. So we're going to write down the LCD. So the LCD in the numerator is x plus delta x, x plus delta x times x. Okay. Then you write the fraction sign. And to figure out what goes up top here, it's always going to be 2, so in this case 2, times whatever is missing here to get the LCD. Well, we're missing the x. And then it's minus, so minus 2 times, and then whatever is missing here to get the LCD. So that'll be x plus delta x. It's all over delta x. And the top part is in parentheses. Okay, so let's rewrite the limit sign. So this is limit. Delta x goes to 0 from the right. So we have 2x. And then we can distribute the negative 2 here. Right, this negative 2. So it'll be negative 2x. And then negative 2 times delta x is negative 2 delta x. It's all over x plus delta x times x, and it's all over delta x. And that top part, again, is in parentheses. And two x's cancel. I'm going to rewrite it one more time. So this is the limit. As delta x approaches 0 from the right. So we have negative 2 delta x over, and then x plus delta x, x all over delta x. Ridiculous. <laughs> all right, so we have this fraction over delta x. So let's write the limit again. So limit delta x goes to 0 from the right. So when you have this fraction and you divide by delta x, you really multiply by the reciprocal of delta x. So it's this fraction, negative 2 delta x over x plus delta x, x times the reciprocal, so 1 over delta x, right? Because when you divide by delta x, you're really multiplying by the reciprocal of delta x. So finally, these cancel. So this is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 from the right of negative 2 over x plus delta x times x. And at this point, well, we're good. We can finally take delta x equal to 0. We can plug it in. We can plug in 0 for delta x. So we get negative 2 over x plus 0 times x. Keep in mind, you always write that limit sign, right? Always write the limit sign to the very, very end when you plug in the delta x. That's when you stop writing the limit sign. And we just get x times x, so it's x squared. So negative 2x squared. And that's it.